Hello everyone and welcome to Pentagon. Here's today's problem. If 2 times 4 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 9 to the x and x equals log base 2 thirds of a, solve for a. This problem has quite an elegant solution, so please pause the video here if you'd like to try and solve this yourself. Right, before we jump into the problem, let's have a basic review on logarithms. Logari logarithmic form and exponential form go hand in hand. So as an example, let's take the equation 2 to the power of 3, or 2 cubed, equals h. This is an exponential form. Here, 2 is what we call the base, 3 is called the exponent, and h is called the argument. In logarithmic form, we would write the same equation as follows log base 2 of h equals 3. So as you can see, in exponential form, we're solving for the argument, but in logarithmic form, we're solving for the exponent. All right, now let's use this to solve the problem. Let's take our first equation, 2 times 4 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 9 to the x. And let's subtract 6 to the x from both sides. So we will be left with 2 times 4 to the x equals 9 to the x minus 6 to the x. All right. Now, we know that 4 is equal to 2 squared. Using this, we can say that 4 to the x is equal to 2 squared to the x, which is also equal to 2 to the x squared. All right, now let's substitute that into our equation. 2 times 2 to the x squared, which is just uh, 2 to the x times 2 to the x, equals 9 to the x minus 6 to the x. Now, we know that 9 is equal to 3 times 3, and 6 is equal to 3 times 2. Therefore, 9 to the x is equal to 3 times 3 to the x, which is 3 to the x times 3 to the x. Likewise, 6 to the x equals 3 times 2 to the x, which is equal to 3 to the x times 2 to the x. All right, so let's substitute these values in.
All right. Now, on the right side, you can see that both terms have a common factor of 3 to the x. So let's take out that factor. So we will get 2 times 2 to the x times 2 to the x equals 3 to the x. And then brackets, we will have 3 to the x minus 2 to the x. All right. Next, let's divide both sides by 2 times 2 to the x. On the left side, these will cancel out, and we will be left with 2 to the x equals 3 to the x times, in brackets, 3 to the x minus 2 to the x, all over 2 times 2 to the x. Next, let's divide both sides by 3 to the x. To show this, I'll multiply each side by 1 over 3 to the x. Right. When we do that, we get 2 to the x over 3 to the x equals 3 to the x minus 2 to the x all over 2 times 2 to the x. Well, if we look on the right-hand side, we've got 2 to the x over 3 to the x. This can be rewritten as 2 thirds to the power of x. So let's substitute that in. Two thirds to the power of x equals, and on the right side, I'll factor out a one half, and in brackets, we'll have three to the x minus 2 to the x, all over 2 to the x. Right. Now let's take the term inside the brackets on the right-hand side, and let's separate the terms out. So we will have, on the left-hand side, 2 thirds to the x equals 1 half times 3 to the x over 2 to the x minus 2 to the x over 2 to the x. And well, in a fraction, when the numerator and the denominator are the same, the fraction simplifies to 1. So 2 to the x over 2 to the x is just 1. Now, like we said, that 2 to the x over 3 to the x equals 2 thirds to the power of x. We can say that 3 to the x over 2 to the x equals 3 halves to the power of x.
but three halves to the power of x is also equal to this complex fraction. One over two thirds to the power of x. Now let's substitute this complex fraction into our equation. Two thirds to the x equals one half times one over two thirds to the x minus one. All right now, let's not forget our second bit of information. We were given that x was equal to log base 2 thirds of a. And we were asked to solve for a. Well, let's rewrite this equation into exponential form. So we'll take the base, which is 2 thirds. And remember, in logarithmic form, we're solving for the exponent. So the exponent in this case is x. And this is going to be equal to the argument, which in this case is a. Well, look what we have. We've got 2 thirds to the power of x equals a. Well, this is very convenient. We can substitute in the value of a into our equation. And when we do that, we get a equals one half times one over a plus one, oh, sorry, minus one. And things get a bit simpler from there. When we distribute the one half on the right hand side, we get a equals one over two a minus one half. And if we form a common denominator, we can rewrite one half by multiplying the numerator and denominator by a. And this becomes a over 2a. So a equals 1 over 2a minus a over 2a. And this is equal to 1 minus a over 2a. Right. Next, let's multiply both sides by 2a. So on the left-hand side, we would have 2a squared. And on the right-hand side, we would have 1 minus a. And this just simplifies to a quadratic. So if we move everything to one side, we'll get 2a squared plus a minus 1 equals 0. Right. Now, how do we factor this? Well, this can be factored into 2a minus 1 
times a plus 1. And this is equal to 0. And from here, we have two possibilities. Either 2a minus 1 equals 0, in which case a is equal to a half, or a plus 1 is 0, in which case a is equal to negative 1. However, one of these options is extraneous. And the extraneous one happens to be a equals negative 1. Because we said earlier that a is a power of 2 thirds. Like we said here, I'll rewrite it here. 2 thirds to the x equals a. And no matter what value we put for x, a will never be a negative number. You cannot raise a positive value to anything and get a value less than 0. Even if x is negative, so let's say x equals negative 1, a will be equal to 1 over 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. Therefore, a cannot be negative 1, which means the only value for a is 1 half. And that's our answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.